Hi, this is Brandon from Grace 10314. Today we're featuring Goodfellas and Chance to Dance. Hey, Mr. Matt. My name is Andrew Scudero. I'm the owner of Goodfellas Burger and Pizza here in Staten Island, New York. Are you ready to help? <laughs> For the past 25 years, we've worked with lots of local groups here in Staten Island, and we would get um, you know a crew of like really cool kids to come in and just do small odd jobs uh, in the restaurant. I guess over time, you know, a lot of foundations have heard about it or found out and called us up and. Pretty much have the foundation in here almost every day of the week. So you go like this, right? And you fold this down, right? And this goes on there, and then it closes the box. Okay? And you just push the sides in. What's your favorite type of pizza? You already know mine. What's yours? Buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken pizza. I only tried their cheese pizza. The cheese? How is the cheese pizza? It was good. Yeah? I still think the Nino's is better though. You think the Nino's is better? Okay. <laughs> That's a joke I always do with uh, Sean and Anthony Jokic whenever I'm with them in City Access. What? What do we always do? The back credit card thing. Merry Christmas, Mr. John. Oh, thank you. What a great gift. <laughs> They're great to have here. And uh, it's great to see them have a good time. And they feel like a part of our team, which they are. And, you know, the work that they do is very important to us. I mean, most of them, they love to do the pizza boxes. I did say I said. Maybe I we're how to operate rides. Oh, I miss her Maybe she was so I'm honestly thinking we can get fun things from our websites. So you want to, like, nice operate too. rides, something in the I like her too. Like, so what about you, Bo? What kind of job would you like to pursue in the future? I heard Mr. Chris. Cooking, Mr. like a chef or a chef Chris assistant. Yes. What about like a waiter? Mr. Would you do Chris that? Man? Or yeah. yeah, something in the food service. I know yeah. Mr. Maybe making the pizza. Uh, making pizzas. Oh look, you're a good fella. Open we'll application. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to help out. Matthew, what about you, bud? I Me? work now. I need you work it. now. What do you do for work? I'm in the cafe. You work in the cafe. Okay. Yeah. Jonathan, what about you, bud? Um, I don't fully really know, but I always liked art. You like art? Yeah. Okay. To have them do 100 boxes a day is definitely a, a huge help for us. folded boxes for today and we did a good job and we put papers inside and organized them. I really want to thank the Grace Foundation and their crew for coming to help us out. It's, you know, a very big job to have, you know, them, you know, make the boxes for us and roll silverware and do all these small odd jobs so we can concentrate on servicing our customers great. And now on to commercial break. And now, ladies and gentlemen, back to our show. My name is Jacqueline, um, and I'm with Chance to Dance. We are a nonprofit organization that provides dance classes and movement services for individuals with disabilities and special needs. We've been partnering with different um, nonprofit organizations, charter schools, 
um, providing those services for the individuals you know, that, with special needs. And we have dance classes, we do movement therapy using different props that are sensory friendly. So just providing that quality class for them um, and equal arts is our main, you know, motive. So we want everyone to be able to have access to these classes. So yeah, so we're super inclusive. I would really kind of focus on, you know, that so the social skills aspect of it. Being able to, you know, move around um, and have that, and have fun with their peers, and also, you know, get access to different classes that, you know, maybe they wouldn't have access to. Um, so even, you know, vocational rehab, helping them get jobs. It's just a really fun activity to be able to move around, exercise. A lot of health benefits to dance for everyone. Um, so yeah, it's. I wouldn't just zone in on that dance aspect of it. There are different factors that, you know, it, it does improve, it, it helps improve uh, mental health, physical health, everything. Oh my goodness, it was so fun. The energy was amazing as soon as I walked in, you know, they were so ready. Um, and, that's, and that's really why I do what I do, just putting smiles on their faces. They had so much fun, you know, everyone's individual expression also, you know, they weren't scared to jump in the middle and, and have fun without being nervous that anyone was watching or judging them. But yeah, it went great. We did, you know, we did a lot of different activities just in that hour and everybody was participating on their own. You know, they just wanted to do it. So it was a really exciting day for me, definitely to be here and um, see them have a great time. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the opportunity and I can't wait to dance with you guys again. And now to a commercial break. Uh, building Legos provides a sense of joy. Uh, it is also a collective, collective spirit as no single piece is, has much value, yet as a collective, it creates this. The best part of the Brace Foundation is its principle, what it stands for. Uh, in many ways, is a testament to social change, as, uh, as Shadar Rivera put it, the last great disgrace. Uh, but it's not. But it's the opposite of this. It's more like, um, well, actually, what is the antithesis to a disgrace? Um, an embellishment, uh, a great, a great joy. Uh, uh, we have come. Uh, we have come so far from, with grace. Uh, coming here in the year 2023, recognizing the various social changes from being misunderstood, to being persecuted, to being uh, misunderstood again, to being uh, accept, accepted and ultimately changed. One of the things that Grace stretches and, and <coughs> explains is that it is not, is that to be autistic, to be disabled, is not to be inferior. Uh, it is to be uh, level-headed with everyone else. Because ultimately, uh, I will not be at Grace forever. Um, oh, great forever, I have dreams and aspirations and places I wish to go and go. Uh, I am a senior in high school, uh, a senior in high school, I've already been accepted to two colleges. Two colleges, I, attend, I, I fully intend to attend, uh, intend to attend college, no matter it's corruption, and see a world around me in this room.
Okay. I want to go see the new movie Wonka. Why? Why do you want to see the new movie Wonka, Kenny? Because I want you guys to experience it. So, just to describe the movie. And how it is, and whether you like it or not. Up to show the umpa loompas, umpa loompa umpa di do. Is that your favorite part of the yes, movie? Yes, the umpa loompas. I like the bubblegum scene. Remember the bubblegum part? I remember the the part when Val when Violet turns purple. Yes. <laughs> and I, all I like about the movie is just the chocolate. Chocolate? What's your favorite kind of chocolate, Kenny? Or candy? Um. As long as if, as long as if, if it's not a nutty one, then that's how I like chocolate. Oh, I like Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, I love Reese's. I love Tootsie Roll, candy corn that I'm surprised Miss Catherine doesn't like. Uh, what about you, Tower? What's your favorite candy? Chocolate. I like milk chocolate. I like Hershey candy. I like, I like uh, Reese's. That's cool. Uh, I like it with the candy. It's What's your favorite part of the Willy Wonka movie? Willy uh, Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I like uh, all the scenes of the uh, movie. You got a favorite character from it? The Chocolate Factory. What's your favorite character, Kenny, from Willy Wonka? I like Mr. Wonka himself. <laughs> Why? What do you like about him? When uh, when he wears the hat, then he starts looking like a magician. I like the Oompa Loompas. Oh yeah. And the girl when she turns purple. And she when she turns into a ball. Yes. <laughs> I like that when the really kid funny. got one chocolate wa- river. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. I remember that now. What's your favorite, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory or Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? Uh, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka? What about you, Ken? I like all three, including the new one that just came out. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.